Thousands of dollars of gas stolen right from the pump at a Northeast Heights gas station. Security cameras were rolling as the crooks siphoned off more than 700 gallons of fuel. And the cameras caught something else, too. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live in the newsplex with the story. The gas station manager says a check of the overnight transactions turned up the theft, so they went straight to the surveillance footage. And it turns out this wasn't the first time the gas station's been hit. It started at 11.30 and it ended like at 2.30. For three hours, beginning Monday night and stretching into Tuesday morning, the manager of this Texaco station on Lomas in Juan Tabo says these two guys stole a lot of gas from this one pump. He actually opens the pump up and he removes and, and tampers with things that allows it to flow after the counter has stopped. The two men fill up a couple of barrels in the bed of the truck. Once those are full, they take off, but they're not done yet. The two come back a second time, and it's the same routine. And finally, a third time. But this time, they show up with two different trucks, each one loaded down with barrels. They stole about 688 gallons from this pump itself in, uh, in diesel and another 93 in unleaded. Uh, and this is throughout separate, uh, three separate occasions, uh, three separate visits that night. The thefts were discovered the next day during a review of the overnight transactions, and that's when they checked out the surveillance video. After uh, um, this happened, we, we started reviewing all of our footage for the last couple of days, and we did come upon uh, uh, footage from the, the night of the 24th. I guess it was like a test run. A test run that siphoned off nearly 100 gallons of unleaded gas. You can see it's the same truck from the night of the 26th. And this time, the guy doesn't fill up barrels. It's a tank on the truck and a friend's car. Because of these guys, uh, we have to shut our pumps off at night and we lose that revenue and, and we become an inconvenience to our customers as well. Now, in order to start the pumps, the crooks had to use a credit card. The gas station manager says the same card was used during all the thefts. He hopes it'll lead officers to the fuel bandits. Diane? Okay, Amanda. The manager also believes the men in the video may have some sort of background in the gas business because they knew exactly how to break into the pump.